Hello, YouTube. Now, I'm going to post a video response to this is a foreign invasion. I used the word invasion once and I received death threats and all kind of fucked up comments. But the fact of the matter is this. Illegal activity is illegal activity. And the ICE team are finally doing their job. Now, I saw on the news today that this one guy, he'd been here for 16 years, and he was arrested because he's illegal. They snatched him out of his job, pulled him out of the job. Now, he was at the job for 16 years. Who pays for that? Who pays for that? I'll tell you who pays for it. The legal Mexicans, they pay for that. They pay for that every day when they walk down the street and someone disrespects them by calling them a fucking Mexican or, or you goddamn illegal. Not every Mexican you see walking down the street is illegal. Not every one of them is illegal. I know a lot of Mexican people and they are tired of illegal aliens. Illegal aliens get these benefits that they can't get. You know, an older Mexican friend of mine told me he, he went to go see if he can get some, some Medi-Cal. You know, help him, you know, his insurance from the job is not covering everything and he wants a little extra assistance. He couldn't get any assistance. He didn't qualify. So he's like, why did I qualify? You know, I'm fucking damn near 70 fucking years old. I can't qualify for any assistance. I've been in the country. I paid my taxes. I did all I was supposed to do. And I can't get it. Can't get it. He can't get assistance. He can't play he can't go nowhere without somebody making fucked up statements either. You fucking Mexicans. Dirty Mexicans. This motherfucker and his family have been here a long time. They've hired over the years literally thousands upon thousands of Americans. But whenever you see this old guy and walking or whatever. The people say fucked up things. Dirty Mexican, fucking Mexican. And, you know, there's a lot of good Mexican people don't deserve that shit. And that's why a lot of Mexican people are completely tired. They come here, you know, they work hard, they live they pay taxes, they shop at our stores, their kids go to our schools, and some guy swims across the channel, some guy hops the fence, and everyone screams dirty Mexicans. Not every Mexican person that you see walking the streets of the United States of America is illegal. Not every black person walking the streets of America is a criminal. Not every white man or white woman walking down the street is a racist. And in saying that, illegal is wrong. My sister asked me, well, illegal aliens come here to our country do this and da, 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 da. and now they're having problems with the illegals when they catch them they don't want to send them home because they break up the family if you are an illegal alien and you come to America and have kids send the whole family back don't split up the family 
And then I just saw somewhere that um, ICE is making the raids. They raided this one place and grabbed all the people out. And there's people that have been here for 15 and 16 years. And the guy says, well, I checked all the social security numbers, driver's license, cell phone. Oh, not cell phone. Driver's license and a you know, social security card number and everything. You know, hey, I-9 forms. What I'm trying to get to is this. Now, people say they don't want to split up families. Fine. If the kid is an American, take a blood sample, take fingerprints, retina scan, send them home with their parents. When their kid gets 16, they can come back to go to high school. When the kid gets a 20, he can just come back. As long as he can prove he's who he say he is. Um, there's millions and millions upon millions of illegals. And they make all of the illegals look bad. If you look at an illegal and you can't differentiate the illegal from the legal, then we have a problem here in America. And that problem will be a continued lack of respect for those who did it right. And a lot of people would say, you know, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're just bash mad at Mexican people. Why should I be mad at somebody for trying? Put forth an effort. You're trying. It's those who break the rules who need not be rewarded. You shouldn't reward somebody for breaking the rules. If they're found to be here and they shouldn't be here, send them home. Send the whole family home. And if the kids are legal, they can come back. If the parents get legal, then they can come back with their kids. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with saying, do it the right way? Come on in. Fill out the papers. Come on in. What's wrong with doing it the right way? Because now, I'm a racist because I'm saying send these women, these children, send the whole family back. Send them home. And when it's time for them to be back here, they can come back because they will be legal. They could come back. See, we are all forgetting that the word is illegal immigration. It ain't legal immigration or documented or undocumented. We're talking about illegal immigrants. Not just from Mexico, but from everywhere. You make your people look bad when you break the rules because people don't know who is who. So good people are getting, you know, the brunt of all the BS because of the other people. And like I said, Mexicans are tired of it. How can you own a restaurant and, and be in this country all this time and somebody can be walking down the street with a pot, a fucking pot, and sell exactly what you sell. You can't make no money. Then, when a group of people who are not supposed to be, be here earn money and send it home. It's money not spent here. And then, you got the work farms down in Texas and along the border where they pretty much enslave these people. Shut them down. Stop illegals from having a reason to get here. Fight for equality in Mexico. Fight for equality in China. Fight for equality wherever we have people being mistreated. Don't wait till they get here and say, you know what? Get them hell out, get them the hell out of here. Hey, I'm done with this one and you've been tubed.